First of all, let me say I am sorry. I am so sorry that I'm a horrible YouTuber and basically went from, hey, look at this great camper conversion. I just drilled a hole in my window to summer's over and the camper's done. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful November afternoon here in Ohio and uh, camper's 90% done. Um, so what happened? Well, flying season happened and right before flight fest, I decided to buckle down and get the camper done enough for the season and only posted a few of the videos on social media. So for all my YouTube followers and watchers, I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm gonna take this opportunity now that the season's over to kind of show you what I got done. Like I said, it's about 90% done. Um, so let me take you on a quick tour and show you what I got. Okay, I think we'll start here with the bed area. Like I said, I started out with a simple cot mattress, um, built a box to put it on, and uh, turned out pretty good. Um, it's three inches of memory foam, and it's not all that comfortable, so that's something I'm gonna change for next year. Not sure how yet, but I'm going to. You know, just your plain old Walmart sleeping bag. Got the job done. And I also found this at Target, Walmart. Um, you know, one of them sit up pillows, but also works for laying down too. So I basically just use this for my pillow. I'm about to show you the first thing that I'm going to change. And before I had these nice shelves over here, um, we'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, all of my storage was in here. So every time I needed to get something, I'd fold this up. And if I was, would have been smart, I would have stopped the lid here. But I didn't. And then when I tried to lift this up, so now I have to turn this up like this. I can lift this up and use the pillow to stop. Okay, and underneath the sleeping deck, I got room for two plastic totes. Uh, and this one was a little bit easier accessible. I had I put like the food and things and towels and you know things I need to get more often. At least I did. And then in here was more like one-time supplies, tarps, um, electrical stuff, hammers, tools, things like that. But what I'm going to change for next year is I'm going to cut this right down the middle, draw another hand hole here so I can lift one side or the other because this will be a nice brace for both sides. And this is, like I said, tools are in here on this side and I only get them out when I first set up and then everything else back in there, that's for more of the groceries and, and paper products and bag, things like that go in that one. So that's to get to most of the time. So then I'll be able to just fold this up, get the one side, oh, and that'll work. And this just goes down. Okay, now, what else can we talk about while we're in here? Uh, Ceiling. I got the ceiling done last. That's the most recent thing I've done. Uh, that was with Home Depot's uh, what is three or four inch cedar planking um, for walls or ceilings. I did the whole ceiling for about 80 bucks, I think. And it smells really good and looks nice. Uh, I didn't put screws in every cross. I only did really on four of them. Um, because I didn't want to put holes in every part of the frame of this camper. So I did every so often. That I, I will never do this again by myself. Let me tell you that right now. <laughs> um, underneath where the screw holes are, or the screws are, is double-sided sticky tape. Actually, each one of them has a double-sided sticky tape on it. That helped me hold them while I screwed them in. It still was a major task. Kept falling down. There were bad words were said, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, what else? Since I last left you, um, obviously the windows are in. Those worked out great once I got the longer screws. Uh, this one, 
in particular, one of the tracks that the window goes up and down on keeps sliding down. So it makes it harder to lift and close. I'll figure that out before next season. Um, but everything worked great. Uh, the leaks, um, air with the two windows open and the fan, which I'll show you in a second, the fan going, it's, it's wonderful. Switch. Finally, I put my head down on this end in the summertime. So at Flight Fest, it was like 95, 90 to 95 degrees during the day. As soon as the sun went down behind the, uh, the hills and the fan was on, the windows were up, it cooled off immediately. So that was really, really good. Okay, so um, how warm was it in here, you might ask? Warm enough? <laughs> I did the last camping trip I did, it got down into the low 40s, high 30s overnight. And in those situations, I highly recommend a dog bed warmer. And what I mean is bring a dog <laughs> because even with a cheap uh, Walmart sleeping bag and a little fuzzy dog, believe it or not, me and a little fuzzy dog on here underneath the sleeping bag, I got warm. I got plenty warm actually so that I made me real happy so I don't have to worry about high 40s or low 50s that's fine it's perfectly comfortable here overnight uh, yeah so there's that so you might be thinking to yourself Jason that does not look like a square black and decker 120 volt refrigerator and you're right <laughs> you're right <laughs> that is a new refrigerator because on my first long camping trip, meaning Flight Fest, the first night that refrigerator died. And that, my friends, is why you don't buy used or reconditioned. <laughs> and of course, I had it for two months before I even plugged it in for the first time and uh, my return policy was over. So that was the one bad thing that I got. But thankfully that led to me getting this new refrigerator. This is a 120 or 12 volt or AC or AC and DC um, chest refrigerator freezer. It can do refrigerator temperatures, it can do freezer temperatures. And it's basically the same cubic feet as the Black & Decker was, but it has this nice little chest style. It's got this um, wire basket in there to make it easier to load, unload, for, you know, before and after camping trips. And then it has this part back here, which stays about five to seven degrees warmer than the rest of it. So you can put things in there uh, that you don't want to get as cold, like maybe vegetables and fruit, something like that. And it fits a half gallon jug of chocolate milk perfectly. Uh, so this thing was amazing. Um, I forget how many watts it uses. I think they said like 40. It, um, which was even less than the other refrigerator and it was plugged directly in to my battery now What's next? Uh, we'll go up here There is the max air fan um, Absolutely wonderful thing. I'm glad I spent the extra money on it and let me tell you why This particular one is the in out uh, 10 very 10 speeds both directions and it has a thermostat so when I was at Flight Fest, it was 95 degrees outside. I set the thermostat at 75, I think it was. 70, 75, somewhere in there. And if it was 90 in here, and that thing would be wide open and blowing 100% out. And put, just circulate in the air so it didn't get stuffy. And that's why it cooled down so, good, so well. Right here, you'll see I have the remote control for it. And if I just hit the... Um, this ready and on. I have it set this to what 50% out, it automatically opens and uh, turns on. There's a remote for you, and then we just take it off, closes up, and turns the fan off like that super quiet the one downside that i found so far and the only downside what two things one when you're on auto this little light right here is green and it stays on 
the elastic receiver. There's a LED in here somewhere that's green and it stays on the entire time. <laughs> um, and I've noticed that the lid, the top sticks. Now I'm not opening it all the time and I can just kind of pop it if I do the, do the thing manually. So that's not bad. I did uh, tie my, the original trailer light, LED light into the battery instead of into the, tra the trailer harness because um, I unplug when I get to my camping site and everything runs off the battery. Speaking of which, dun, 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 there's my electrical. Now, I have never claimed to be a wire management genius and it will get cleaned up. But like I said, this thing is about 90% complete. The, the control unit is an MPP Solar, that's the brand name, uh, the PIP 1012 LV MS. Look up um, Will Prowse, P R O W S E, on YouTube. He is a big proponent of this type of unit, and other items are just like it, but this was the perfect size for me. And as you can see, I have two sets of wires coming out one for the fan and one for the LED light, both of them with XT30 plugs, so I can disconnect them here. Um, but they're also fused in there and if I turn this off if I hit this right here that shuts everything off from the battery so it won't, can't charge and everything. it just basically it's the battery cut off um, like I said this has a 1000 watt inverter that I have running off of one of these two wires here probably this one it goes down kind of hangs out down there and I have this power strip plugged in I barely use it I use that right now to charge my big battery bank um let's see i did order this 12 volt um this was supposed to have a cigarette type outlet and usb but when i got it the usb one was crushed so i just used this to, for this season uh to power the refrigerator right off of the battery and um it worked great i have a new one i'm about to order a new one it says four plugs um or four circles in it one cigarette, one two port USB, one with a voltmeter on it, and then the other one is, um, oh, a switch, a power switch, so I can actually switch that whole thing off if I want to. This other wire here just goes to a two, and then here, that's for short power now, so if I need to, fire, you know, if I don't have enough power in my battery, there's no sun coming in off the solar, then I can just plug this into my little generator and it will slowly charge the battery. So, uh, and there's a power button underneath here to just shut the, to turn the inverter on and off, uh, which I have off right now. There's my fire extinguisher. Pretty easy to get to. Now, we have these, we have these great shells. Yeah, I was still snooping through flight test garbage uh, one day <laughs> and I found these like in the to be thrown away pile. So I, you know, I know a guy and I texted that guy and I said, Hey, are you throwing these out? And if you are, can I have them? And the answer was yes and yes. So now they are the absolute perfect shelving system for in here. And it stays with the theme of what this camper is even for, right? Right? I mean, it's for going to flight fest festivals and stuff. I need to figure out what I'm doing for this part here. Well, I'm covering that up so it's still, I can still get to it if I need to. Uh, I'm thinking about using PVC molding, just plain PVC molding and putting it at an angle. Um, or maybe I'll just do it straight up. That might be easier. It just depends on, well, actually that could work. Um, so think about doing that. Uh, what else? I got to get in the shore plug. Oh, the other thing I want to do over there. I'm ordering a shore plug in that other multi-plug unit for the 12 volt. I also want to run an outside receptacle an outlet uh, with XT90 plugs that are wired directly into the battery maybe with a switch on the inside so I can turn that plug on and off um, yeah I don't want anybody while well, I'm not looking plugging into my battery um, so that's I'm still working on the details on that but that's that's a plan oh there was one major issue that I knew right away. Let me get my, here, I'll get my other camera out again. See this water just dripping off the back corner, right? 
there is a lip here that's supposed to keep the water from going in here. Now, you can see all this fine silicone caulk that's in here. Um, my masterful job of putting it on there. Well, what was happening is on big rains, it would either come off of here or just rain straight down. It'd go behind this aluminum piece and then come back out here and run straight down the inside of the doors. So I had, I got my stickers. My stickers got a little wrinkled. The door's in pretty good shape. Uh, but it did a little bit of, it's hard to see, but a little bit of water swelling, I guess you call it, down here. It's all right, you barely see it. Um, floor is fine. So yeah, I need to fix this as well. I'm gonna do a new trim piece here and figure out what kind of trim I'm putting around the whole thing. But uh, other than those little things, this went really well. Um, really happy with how it looks and how it functioned. Um, I got plenty of room. Uh, I've learned how to pack and unpack it. What dog thing, I don't need to bring, my, apparently, don't need to bring my dog's big bed, which I was putting on the floor, because he wants to sleep over here on the skinny little bed with me. We made it work. The refrigerator rides in the old spot where the old refrigerator was, and then when I get there, I take it out and almost use it like a, an end table uh, to charge my phone in at night. Now I'll show you some of the social media clips that I put out there. Um, so you can see kind of the, the progression of it, but I, did, I wanted to say this first and give you kind of the grand tour. Um, please let me know if you have any questions them in the comments i'm happy to answer them uh, but to the best of my ability i made up half this stuff and youtube answered the rest of the most of the questions that i had so um yeah i'll try to link uh, a lot of the things that i use in here also in the description like the refrigerator the uh power unit um this cot mattress i got it got on there as well i guess that's about it oh i got the fan on my fan on Amazon as well. So I'll try to link all those in the description here. Um, and stay tuned because I got more coming. Um, but again, thanks for following along. And again, sorry for the delayed updates. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the clips. See you next time. Hi. So here's the thing. It's, it's this whole process I've been saying that I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to all this work on the trailer and I proved myself right because apparently I cannot cut straight with the jigsaw like blade cut, 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 and then it starts to lean one way or the other um, also manufacturers don't necessarily give you the exact hardware that you need so after testing my abilities, my patience, my knowledge, and a lot of trips to Home Depot for things that I didn't think I was gonna need. We got two windows. Look at, they're in. They're in, like in, in, screwed in, done. Not coming out. Let me show you the inside. Go over here, this out. Look at that. So as you can see, they're not black screws; they are silver screws. So maybe I'll stay with the uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll stay with the silver screw aesthetic. Just in time too. I think it's supposed to rain tonight and Alton then tomorrow. And here's the one on this side. Oh, yes. I mean, it almost looks like I know what I'm doing. All right. Thanks, some other nature. I got some work done tonight. And some good work. Check this out. All right. We all know normal, normal handle. Normal handle. Oh, wait. It's still not opening. That's because I have this handle. That on the inside. I still have to secure this and things. But I can open and close the door from the outside. Or the inside. Lock it on the outside. And then I have that. And that does this. I can pull the little thing and 
Ta-da. Right, I think I can camp this weekend. Mm. Today, we start round two of the, of the camper trailer. Today's, we're gonna finish the floor, finish the wall, and then start thinking about furniture and electrics. Delivery today, big box, what do we got? Flexible solar panel. We're gonna have power soon. Soon. to you the sleeping bed bench storage unit with refrigeration so here we are cot mattress on top probably more padding on top of that because because um, but I got I got the whole thing done this is the end that's going to be up towards the front of the trailer um, there's airflow for the refrigerator behind it I'm probably just gonna leave this open for right now um, we have refrigerator. Here we are. Look at that. Refrigerator. And then bead board in the opposite direction of the walls for a little bit of difference. And that goes all the way around to this side. I still have like the corner trimming to put on. Man, that piece was out of whack. Anyway, and this. So then I can do. Oh, if I put the pillows on the right way, they will stack up out of the way, kind of. Let's just get them out of the way. There we go. So, yeah, and then we, I have, and I have to put a hole in here to grab our handle of some sort, but check this out. It's heavy. Ah, I need a hole. Ta-da. Storage. I should be able to put two decent size uh, plastic bins in there for storage. And then... This is gonna fix to the wall, the floor somehow to be determined. But yeah, um, and maybe something about that. But just two big hinges on the back, and this is just gonna be butt up against the wall in there, so I don't need to close it off. Um, that's it. Look at that. Pretty. Electrics next. Okay, this is gonna be quick. What do I have to do before flight fest? Get the solar panels mounted to the roof with a double-sided uh, industrial string sticky tape. Run the extension wires through the gland in the roof into the power control box. I need terminals on the battery. I need these wires and the ones that are coming tomorrow plugged into the control box. Um, I need shore power plugged into the control box. I need this, a hole cut in there, but it needs a frame. And then the sealant uh, the self lovely sealant is coming on Tuesday. Um, I've also got a DC fuse box coming on tomorrow that's going to plug into there. Uh, I think that's it. And then I got to figure out how to wire everything, including maybe a light. Wish me luck. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to have time today. Uh, to cut the hole in the camper for the vent fan um, because it's supposed to rain early morning and that's enough time for the sealant to dry. So that's gonna have to wait for a couple days. So instead, we're working on the solar panel. Now, per Joshua Orchard's uh, recommendations and instruction, 
I have my solar panel, and I have this uh, plastic cardboard or the cor plastic corrugated cardboard. It's got these holes in it that go all the way through for airflow. And I already have the first p big piece on. This is just the piece that's going to go on the end. But um, the the holes through the plastic cardboard, you want to go in the short run because that's the air will get through it the best. The, air, uh, the best airflow to dissipate the heat that could come from the sun being directly down on the panels. So we put the double-sided tape on the plastic cardboard, fill off the backing, stick it right on there like that. Make sure it's all sealed real good. And then we're gonna, once these are on, we'll take this again, run it around the whole outside edge, probably maybe one down the seam, and that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna hold it on top of the trailer. Josh says it's okay. Josh says he hasn't any problems, and he's put many miles on his trailer since putting that on there, so I trust him. Josh, I'm looking at you. Uh, but this is gonna work. We'll find out when I drive to Flight Fest uh, next week. So here we go. Ready to go. I'm gonna go see if the extension wires I got will let me put this in the back of the trailer because the fan's gonna be in the front and in the way if I wanna add a second panel. So I'm gonna go measure things right now. I guess this is the best part of putting up your vent fan. Oh yeah, I also heard this is not easy, so this might not be on a video. You get the idea, right? Vent fan is in, and as you can see, gooped up sufficiently to keep the water out. So now I just gotta get the rest of this plastic off, because it's not easy with one hand, so. There it is. The vent fan is in. I will have airflow as long as I can get the battery hooked up properly. Battery, fuse, or breaker, uh, 12 volt breaker box to power unit. And if we go with the switch right here and we do this, Hey, that looks funny on the phone. Boom. We have power. I gotta see if I can charge it. We got solar charging. Oh yeah. Okay, big electrical update. You can see here that we have this squiggly line with the circle is shore power plugged in, but it's doing nothing right now. You see the solar panel that goes into a thing that's charging the battery and helping to supply power to the inverter. Uh, the battery is also supplying power to the inverter. Um, right now the inverter, which is one, coming off one of these two extension cables, is charging my battery pack here at 69 watts, which is about the same as the refrigerator will run. Um, I think what happens is if the battery gets too low and I'm plugged into shore power, shore power will take over and do a and bypass the battery and just power everything. Um, so yeah, I have my battery down here to the breaker. The solar comes from up there down into this breaker and then into the unit. Uh, this also feeds power over to the 12 volt. Uh, circuit box, uh, no, a, a fuse box. Yeah, there's gonna be fuses in there, I gotta get some of those. Uh, I haven't plugged that in, I'll have a fan, at, mi at minimum the fan this week. But, I mean, it's working. Oh yeah, I made this nice uh, box for it. You know, it's not pretty, but it'll get the job done this week. Um, 
and the back of it will be my headboard for the bed down there or well if probably not the best idea to sleep with this right behind your head so i'll go feed down there but yeah there we go <sighs> almost done Airflow. How do I make this faster? There we go. my friend here Doug Yee. and uh, camper update ish um, last week well not last week but the week before uh, went to flight fest with the camper for the first long camper trip and everything went perfectly except for the refrigerator the refrigerator died on the first night um, thankfully I have friends who had big refrigerators and plenty of room I moved my small amount of stuff into there and I was good but that was a little disappointing. And when I got home, my neighbor verified that it's dead. So, time for replacement. On that note, we have a replacement. Today's project was working on insulating the ceiling. I got the back half done, and I got most of the front half done. Even I got this on the first try. Now all I have to figure out is all my wiring, get that all secured up before I put in these last these last sections here. Uh, thankfully, I was gonna put inch and a half foam up here, but inch and a half pink board foam insulation is twice as much as one inch. I had a whole bunch of extra pieces left over from doing the walls. I don't spend any money on that. So that would have been half the cost of the new refrigerator if I had to buy two inch and a half so awesome uh so save some money there that's good buggy what do you think yeah i like you too <laughs> so maybe we'll go camping sometime soon right everybody all right so that's a camper update oh i'm gonna add another solar panel eventually i'll have to just get a y plug and and what do the wiring all up on the roof and so we'll be fine there Outside of the camper's done. You want to see it? Here, look. Ooh. Second solar panel's in. So now I have 200 watts of solar, which should keep my refrigerator and lights and everything running and top off the battery every day, even in lower light conditions. So I think that's it. Don't mind all these funny wires over here. I might bundle them up better, but for next week, which is a camping trip, I'm good. So yeah, the outside's done. Got to finish up the ceiling on the inside, but that won't happen until after next week. So anyway, more on that later. Hey, buddy. 
lagi. Hai. Hai doi. Hai. 